Okay. Now we have a leak shit on my page and shit. Is it the first time? Hang on. Now we have a leak shit on my page and shit. Oh. I I do. And we're back. My goodness. We're properly live this time, it looks like. It's actually working. And we're back with Vanishing Gates. Jay once again made the mistake mm -hmm. of letting me do something. Oh, just, check just like when I ended that stream check early, I accidentally launched it on the wrong place. Guys, I apologize. I keep trusting Jack for stuff. And I guess that makes you a jackass. Ah! Uh, right? Great. So we have vanishers and jackasses. Got it. Which we appreciate you, Vanishers. And Jackasses. And Jackasses. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Seth, move that way just a little bit. No. And try to Just a little bit. No, this way, a little bit, towards me. Just, just move in a different direction. <laughs> you gotta, like, edit those out. What did you do to deserve the bag? I know, I have a little preemptive. Where is your picture, too? You gotta give Why him don't a you have anything? to make a mistake this is bullshit. before you give him the bag. No this one wants bullshit. a bag on my head. Or you, need, you, need, on my head. you need your own picture of, like, maybe, I like, I think we a, need a picture of like, eyebrows for him. There you go. They need a nice picture of eyebrows. Yeah. Yeah. Anyhow, guys, welcome back to Vanishing Gates. As always, I'm your host, Jay, and with me is, uh... The fuck up, Jack. Pardon me. Hey! Wow. That's you a gonna dollar. Start, you gonna start the show off like that? And who's this? This is Paco. And uh, we have a friend over here in the corner. Tripod. Tripod. Mm -hmm. Can't see him because the Lord loves you a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yep. Just, just it's a, a bit. It's a good thing. So, guys, uh, it's part of the show. <laughs> Let's do this again. <laughs> it's a Miura, and it's a kinetic cut, which is a specific type of cut. It's not the cut. It's Damn it. <laughs> the style. It's We're a, smoking it's a style. On, Amira, on Amira, Connecticut. It's called that. This, we didn't just have an accidental launch because of me, and he did not just explain this thoroughly. It's definitely just that I knew this. Yes, we did. And maybe I will save that video and put it on the YouTube yeah. page for those, or the Patreon page. For mistakes made. We still have a Patreon page, guys. Does it, ironic, does it make you does, does it make you wonder every time we've had big mistakes, it's because you've let me do something important on the show? Like, type in something, end the chat. Hey, so speaking, started, wrong area. Are you trying you, to tell uh, me not to let you do stuff? Yes. Shut up. Speaking of doing things, where did you get these? I got John's Fine Cigar. Or Myrtlewood Liquors. John's, uh, John's Fine Cigars? <laughs> Myrtlewood Liquor, John's Fine Cigars. <laughs> got it. Do you want to the address? Here, I'll help you. John's wait, wait Liquors that one and Fine Cigars. At 1648 Myrtle Avenue in Eureka, California. Yeah, and you can find them at johnspinecigars.com. You know what? I was actually, uh, uh, I was using Snapchat today, and uh, uh, Myrtlewood Liquors, John Fine Cigars, actually had their own Snapchat filter today. Nuh -uh. It was really cool. Yeah. Did they put a cigar in your mouth? <laughs> no, no, it just had their name and logo down at the bottom and everything, so you can snap your picture and have them down there. It was pretty cool. I don't know. I'm going to say right now. To see. All right, so, if you guys notice, our initial terrible launch, these cigars were good, but now this thing is like straight up. Just the, the the leaf is coming out, so I'm not suggesting it anymore. Yeah. So this sticker, the nighttime podcast. That's a good sticker because we're gonna get in there. Also, I get this sticker from Astonishing Legends podcast. If you guys go to Patreon and back them up, they'll send you stickers. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. Now, wait, wait. Are you telling me that if our fans go back up the Astonishing Legends podcast, they will get a free sticker? A free sticker? Look, this, this is a quality sticker. Holy crap, that's a well, quality so, sticker, everybody. So maybe we should make stickers. Then we we are going to make stickers. I have to pay where for this, are, though. Where are the stickers? I'm not made of money! I, I, anyway, that's not what nighttime I heard. podcast, though, is even more important. We'll get to that and why it's important, because we'll get there. We have a, a guest coming on. Because we're Spoilers. mentioning this so we can get there later. Anyhow, so, now, uh, some interesting news. You dare say, really. Another another one of our guys there at Cotton Studios, who makes, Jason Glenn, makes some of the best Halloween decorations in the world. And not just Halloween decorations, but art pieces, guys. The worm, we're going to get one eventually. He showed me pictures. Nice. He's gonna send it. It's nice and quality work. I when say, people I like show it. me pictures of their worm, I assume <laughs> it's going to get to me eventually. But no, really, though, what we want to say is, congratulations, Jason. He he proposed to his girlfriend, and she said yes. 
It's the end of the world. Very nice. How dare it's Aaron not be it's, here? It's, it's it's over. I'm gonna it's burn you. <laughs> Jason, your life is over. Congratulations, <laughs> buddy. Congratulations. Good, good job, job bro. You know, hey, good luck, guys. Jason. Good luck. Congrats. Here's what you do, guys, to support congrats. him. Go to Cotton Studios Facebook page and buy some of his shit. Or well, all of it. All of it. Just buy it all. Buy you know his what? work. It's good work. You guys should see the snowman. If you want a creepy Christmas, did you not if hear the Calvin Hobbs Christmas? What? Did you not hear the tumultuous bad news and read it in the chat? Aaron is not here tonight, people. I know. I can't believe what it. What the heck is happening? She's in Bridget? Florida. There is no, a yeah, She's sleeping. She's There's sleeping the right now. She's sleeping. She Bridget, you need to go in there. You need to go punch her in the face and tell her to wake up and watch the show. Yes, get her to share and like the page just in case as well. Not Bridget, only is she sleeping, but she's sleeping like a little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Off camera chatter for the win. Damn it, Aaron. Bridget, you tell Aaron to wake up. Anyway, guys. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Chris. Just keep on but watching. Again, let's all say a hearty vanishing gaze. Congratulations to Jason Glenn on his proposal and accepted proposal. <laughs> all right. Congratulations. Good for you, buddy. Now Good go job. to Cotton Studios' Facebook page, buy a shit. Mm -hmm. Pay tell first, honey moon. Vanishing Gates sent you. That's what you do there. Definitely. Anytime, we, anytime we like say something, guys. If you tell them Vanishing Gate sent you, it does us a big favor <laughs> because this shit's really expensive, <laughs> and we would really like to prop up. Does it cost doing me something a dang good. thing? Why would she want to wake up? Thank you for joining us. For all the newer people, um, if you want, you can like and share the page. I know it's kind of annoying people ask that, but please like and share the page right scrolling. now. Invite your like friends. Like and share the page. It's the biggest thing you guys do for us, aside from, like, hand drops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he more than likely will give one to himself. Well, that's like a... <laughs> yeah. What, a what, what's up with all this commenting? Like, the one time, the one time, like, my, my aunt and my grandmother are watching. Like, you guys want to come out with all these comments now. <laughs> also... <laughs> Paco's aunt and grandmother. <laughs> if you're watching the show, we, we don't deeply mean apologize. We're thinking yeah. about getting rid of the middleman in this situation. He can't seem to stop saying crude and rude things. So we're thinking of ejecting him slowly. Also, I'm thinking about firing you. <laughs> I fire you first. <laughs> Anyways, I actually wanted to say one thing that I think Jay is with me on this one. We want to um, mention that one of our favorite YouTubers, Boogie, is actually going in for um, what is it again? Yeah, yeah, he's getting. In. Okay, so guys, if you follow YouTube at all. We're a video podcast show thing. So the internet, what's the community of podcasts and stuff is a big deal. Like, yeah, we think about other guys that make content like this. So Boogie Two Ninety Eight, he's going in for a gastric bypass surgery this week. Our so if you good. guys keep your prayers, you know, pray for him, send your good intentions that way. He's really nervous. He's a good guy. He's kind of funny. Check him out too on YouTube's. Absolutely. Yeah, it's Boogie2988. 2988, two two eight eight. Eight. yeah. Great guy. Check him out. Very funny. Send him your prayers and likes. Just say, Absolutely. hey, guys, we're thinking about you. Whatever. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. He'll great come out the other great side guy. just fine. He's going to be fine. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But really, though, he, he could use the support. Frankie's going to take care of him. Huh? Frankie's going to take care of him. What's Ooh. a Frankie? There's a Francis. Francis. Francis is going to take care of him. Francis will not. Yeah. Francis, Francis will, will take care of it. Francis will be losing weight. No, no, he will <laughs> There won't be a Francis anymore. Half of them have gone. There will still be a Francis, he said. So, guys, uh, another weird thing. Um, so, in the news, Chicago. In Chicago, mm. they have seen Mothman. The Mothman. Yeah. Mothman. You know, I guess we're very glad that Aaron's not in Chicago currently. Yeah, this is totally true. That's totally godsend. This, we couldn't lose Aaron. Then we totally could have. She is the she is the heart of this show. Where'd she go? She's under the couch. She's under the couch. She's under the couch. Reality though, like guys, a lot of our, a lot of you guys are in Chicago. A lot of our, uh, friends and viewers are in Chicago. A good chunk of them. Guys, I want to send our prayers your way too because Absolutely. we know the floods. But that said, it would be stupid for me not to bring up the paranormal aspect. Mm -hmm. Whereas the Mothman has been seen, or something like the Mothman has been seen in Chicago. We will see video footage. Week. I want to see video footage, Mothman. Not a, not a second of video footage. Tons of eyewitnesses. Not a second of video nope. footage. Like we want, you know, we, want we want pictures. We want videos. With the Mothman, people say that he might be one of many things. Because I was reading something like a hub. It comes in different. Jeez. It comes in like different forms, 
Like it looks like a bird in some instances. And I just I, I mean, wonder if they're all Mothman or if it's just another one that follows him around is the rude version. Like Mothman's just warning people and then the other one shows up, people are like, Oh, it's totally Mothman. If I was a if I was a single sculptor, I'd come in many forms too. <laughs> but no, the Mothman is <laughs> <laughs> Terrible job. Sorry, guys. This is so wrong no, on so many levels. This is one of the greatest jokes right. ever. It's <laughs> off. But the fact is, the Mothman has been sighted in Chicago, around Chicago by lots of people, and then the flood started. Actually, you know what? If you are... I don't know, guys. If you guys are watching this show, you're from Chicago, and you have actually seen Mothman, give us a call. Ah, Bridget's yep. right. What is this? What about Mothwoman? Maybe Mothwoman's the Why? fall... That's what's causing the, the, the floods. He's trying to run, and she's moving too fast to catch him. It's just winds and blowing everything over. Bridget, calm Marriage down. is terrible, thing. See, Jason, glad you gotta be worried. Mothman might not even be a man or a female. It could just be a thing. It's Mothman, it could just be a moth. Daddy. Mothman. <laughs> Mothman. It's Moth they. Moth them. Moth them. We're not doing That's that. Good. We're moth not doing them. that crap. No, no, no. No. I man believe it was no Moth feelings. Woman. She would have a blockage for the floods. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, good. All right. So what's on the so, calendar? Well, first of all, I want to say, hey, guys, Nick, our, our science guy. He's here. Our science editor. Uh, our reconteur of internet extraordinaire, whatever that means, is near the floodplain. So let's, let's give our good thoughts and prayers to him and his family and hope that he's okay. Absolutely. And and also maybe call him fat. Yeah, definitely do that. <laughs> Don't do that. So either. Nick, make sure to uh make sure to post your, your stuff in chat so people can see where you're at. Because I don't think we've memorized it at this point. <laughs> oh, that said, I want to give a big so shout out to Nick's electronics. So many, so <laughs> many, so many, so many <laughs> rabbit holes you can go down that way. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's go. Uh, let's go over our calendar of soon-to-be events. Mm -hmm. Let's do. Let's do. This is July 15th-ish. We're covered. We're right here. Talk about <laughs> what? Hollywood myths and legends and mirth. That's the 15th. Now, next week, on July 22nd, we have uh, Virginia Beach Supernatural Research Society on the show. They're going to call in. I, well, okay, I don't know who they are, so what do you want me to say exactly? Well, I, I you could have a... a... <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be awesome. <laughs> you know what, there Chris? I am in. super freaking special. Remember that. You alright? You alright? Love that man. I concur. Mix? They're going to call in and talk about their experiences for their investigations and whatnot. I have to study them because I want to make sure I want to know who they are and you know do it justice because it's, it's I want to study them. I want to do justice to this interview. Is it like an interview or are we just talking paranormal? We're gonna do an interview like with Sheila and her partner. Well, I get that, but sometimes that you know I mean I don't... it's gonna be an interview. You, you ask them about stop what putting me on the spot. Dude, I, honestly though, you did a really good job with Sheila and her partner. You really had some very good questions to ask. Mm -hmm. You cared about the topics. Absolutely. She was nice enough to actually answer your questions. Which rarely ever happens. I, I swear, I, dude, she needs to be on the show more often. She really does. We if really I want you back. If I these two, I'd have a new co-host. Wow. If I get to Georgia or wherever she's at. Wow. I asked a That's lot of great questions, kind of... and you want to ditch me? Well, I mean, I don't want to ditch of... you. I'm just... It's kind of hurtful. Invitation. Anyways, Hollywood class. Legends. <laughs> All right, no, we're going to go over the, the calendar here. So, on the 29th, we're still open. So, if you guys have someone that you think we should interview or have a topic you want covered on the 29th of July... Email us, let us know. Vanishing, what's the email? And doesn't oh, mind it's, uh, vanishing gates at gmail.com, and that is with two Gs. Or, well, three if you count the Gmail. Well, you know, between vanishing and gates. Look, just two Gs. Email us, let us yeah. know. If there's a topic so freaking want... critical all the damn time. I'm always critical. No! Wade Wilson says you're a loser. <sighs> Wade Wilson is a, wait, no, Wade Wilson's not. He know. is. He's gonna kill so, me. anyway, guys. Who's you know what? We who's haven't had who's the sandal hand. How, how, how are things with Vin Diesel lately? We haven't done that in a long time. Leave Vin Diesel alone. <laughs> <laughs> He's a pleasant man. Like, leave Vin like, Diesel alone. Like, you know, like, like, however, if you guys spam his inbox to come on our show, <laughs> I prefer, that'd be awesome. Like, I prefer he doesn't do that anywhere. 
you know, it's it's actually you know he's actually stopped with the, all the uh, the the harsh and hurtful things that he says about Vin Diesel. No, but he did been... make a, a Vin Diesel effigy that he, he strikes with knives. What? <laughs> <laughs> made it out of bubble gum in his hair that he cut a long time ago, and I found somehow. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, all right, so, so guys, the 29th is open, so if you guys want to have, like, a certain topic we, we cover, or mm -hmm. a certain guest, hit us up before then, so we can fill the 29th, something you guys want to hear about. Um, thank you for the share, August Dan. 5th, yeah, thank you for the shares. Guys, please like and share the show. At least we got one of our mascots here in Dan. Very Dan, happy is, always, Dan is here. Dan he's always is here. awesome. Dan he's has been here. here from the get-go, and he's awesome. Much appreciated. So, um, on the 5th of August, we have Mystic Rose Tarot with Emily. We had to reschedule that, but she's going to be here in the studio doing a live tarot card reading for you guys in chat. So, make sure you show up. Invite your friends if they have any questions about divination. I'm like demons. I don't lives. want to do this. Now, shut up. It's a Ouija board <laughs> tarot. It's the same thing. Shut up. So, on the 12th, <laughs> August 12th, we're still open. August 19th, we have Ed uh, Shanahan on. Talk about haunts in Chicago. Yeah, in Illinois. No, now, I, I, do I have to look this guy up too, or is he, is he famous? I'm, I don't know. I've never heard that name before. He's a writer. Oh, he's a writer. Okay. Yeah, he's a he's a journalist. Now, on August 26th, we have a big deal. Joden Bone Party is going to be on from uh, the Nighttime Podcast. These stickers. It's oh be my amazing. gosh, that those stickers came up. I actually give up. this man money for Patreon because he's that good. So if you guys want a really good, like, podcast to listen to, you can find them all over the place. Uh, nighttime podcast. Jordan is one of the coolest guys. He focuses mostly on uh, eastern, northeastern Canada, because that's like Nova Scotia where he's at. But he's going to be on talking about Oak Island, and that's going to be a big oh deal. Because he's a specialist. He is a, he seems like a, a specialist. Show. He is awesome, dude. And Jordan is one of the nicest guys I've ever talked to. So he's actually going to call into the show and be our guest on here, which is a big deal. That's a boon. For us, yeah, I mean that's a, that's Island's, a huge that's Oak a that's Island's a great too. hell yeah. yeah I, I hate to Island. say it, but that's actually really cool, you know, because I mean we're not a big podcast yet. We're not really, you know, we're not a we're not, no, we're we're not a, we're not a very podcast. we're not a very out there podcast. It's really cool for him to you know be willing to come on a show that's just Jack starting. Just podcast. He did, he did, he truly did. It's really kind. It's really cool of him to be showing up to one that's just starting. You know, giving a kick. No, yeah, he, he's awesome. He's a nice guy. He's actually one of the few people that's talked to me when I message him. He actually responds back. I'm not saying guys don't spam his his, his, his Facebook and stuff. This is terrible. But he's a very nice guy. He's going to come on the show and talk about Oak Island. Which, by the way, that topic, though I wanted to cover it at some point, was suggested by our good buddy Dave Stock from Canada. Mm. Oh, my God. We trusted a Dave? Oh, we always no. trust Dave's. But they're dangerous, Dave. Dangerous. Well, Dave's are very dangerous, but they've always been our friends. It's all their middle names. We have a good luck with we have a lot of good luck with Dave. Last time I t uh, Dave spoke to me, he tried to tell me to eat his um <clears throat> backside with uh <laughs> that might with be the, syrup that and might a spoon. Be the other so <laughs> that might be big. No, I think it was stock, wasn't it? I don't think so. That that was probably Hoover. Oh, you're right. It was. Yeah, it probably was. It was Hoover. So guys, if you look in chat, you'll see um, a link to one of our sponsors, Nix Electronics. Click on that and and, and back him up because that's our buddy Nick. He's our tech guy. He's our science editor, and he's awesome. He's in Chi Town right now, right by the floodplain. So send your prayers his way, because yeah, that's that's a big deal, man. Like stay safe, Nick. Mothman was there, and then there's a flood. Supposedly, you know, you, you, it's 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 interesting that people saw him and then a flood happened because you know. No, it was weird. That's how everybody explains Mothman. He I was shows hearing up, these I was hearing these accounts in Chicago about Mothman being. People being seen off hammer, <laughs> and then suddenly, oh, floods, floods all over the place. You know, I I don't remember hearing Mothman uh, bringing like those kind of natural disasters. I assumed it was like man-made things would break down and stuff. What like? It's just disaster in general. It would be weird, really, because I didn't I looked, didn't look very deep into Mothman, so. <laughs> you know, we should actually I lost my force now that couldn't look actually, deep enough into Mothman. Now this is actually going on. We probably should do, his heart. We probably should do a show on Mothman, seeing how we've done that. Yeah, before, we did a show on Mothman. Before you were part of the show, we did a Mothman we'll show. Maybe and my amazing ability to look That wasn't up. even it wasn't a video, it wasn't a podcast, it was a podcast. Maybe we should actually do a podcast of Mothman. Bridget in chat says Moth Babies need wet conditions soon. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Amazing. Damn it, Bridget, I heart you in the face. 
So what's the topic for the night, Jack? We are going to talk about Hollywood hauntings, but particularly mm. we are going, what? Okay, what? Just hauntings? Or Hollywood curses and haunts? Curses and haunts. Mm. Mostly a big curse. I didn't do any research for this We episode. are going to talk about <laughs> one of the no. coolest things I have read about in Hollywood history. <laughs> Paco didn't do research. No, but I did. You know what? I, I take that back. I take that back. I did actually do research. I read all your notes. You know, here's the thing. While Chris, while, while Chris may have said something that could be hurtful, Here's the problem. I actually don't do much research. And especially on the Mothman, there's a reason I didn't know much about it, because I showed up and I read his notes, and See? then I pretended to know something for, like, 30 minutes. That's exactly what I'm going to do guys, today. if you've been watching the show for a while, you know that I am an avid note-taker and researcher. He has nothing else to do. That's not That's, true. This is true. Yeah, he has nothing else to do. There is no do. life. But you know, this, no this, life. He goes to work. These I run Vanishing I mean, Games, <laughs> and it. I also work full-time. Why is our response time 15 minutes then on messages and stuff? Oh, shit. Response time 15. What is yeah. this? Why what is this garbage? Why don't you help out? Whoa! Oh. Off screen, tripod Billy says. Boom! I got yeah, got served. I did. Damn Tri it, man. Tripod Billy. That's a great name. <laughs> I, I, gotta keep him part of the show now. <laughs> <laughs> the off screen just to, just to throw an over to someone at the last minute like, why aren't you doing some shit? <laughs> you know, that's a good point. I'm the only one on the show who actually doesn't have a consistent job, so why am I not actually working more on the page? I mean, well, there's an answer here. Because I don't paint. I really don't think about it. Because <laughs> he plays wife tells him what to do. Very, very much so. Probably. That is only true. Fifty-fifty. <laughs> <laughs> <50 /50. laughs> I can't remember where it's at. <laughs> anyway, so. We are talking about Hollywood haunts and curses. Should we start off with the big story right away? Or should we move on to, or should we do some of the smaller ones first? Let's start with the big story. Let's do the big story. All right, we're going to go with the big story first. One of the coolest things I've read recently, and there are some people who claim that it's fake, that are supposedly involved with this story, but it is the, the story of Little Bastard, the nickname car for James Dean's 88, what is it? I have to interrupt for one minute. Oh, oh, go ahead. Okay, so, because in chat, Chris says, what about the Sasquatch body they found? Well, Chris, if you do 10 seconds of research, you'll realize it's a fake news site. And they apparently did. Kyle Carr says totally he's fake. nuts to the Sasquatch body that was found. Nice, Kyle. Thank you. So, the fact is that Sasquatch body they, quote, found was on a fake news site. If you look at the site, it says it was found in um, Northern California. Again, Dave Stock told me about this. I wouldn't have known about it. You know, he is really useful. In he is amazing. <laughs> he Dave brought us the Falcon all, Lake. He's one of too. the best Canadians ever. He was the one that brought us Falcon Lake, hey. right? Hey. Hey. And, uh, no, but the don't fact you know? is... <laughs> don't you know? But the, that's, that's Wisconsin. But the fact is, it was a fake news site, and if you look at it, there's like 47 different cities it was supposedly found in, one of them being in Northern California, one being in Texas, one being in Minnesota, etc., 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 blah, blah, blah. Fake. Fake, fake. But don't fret, Didn't because happen. because we are going to do a Bigfoot adventure in hopes to Oh, we are still doing Bigfoot. our we excursion. We, we truly are. We truly are. But we're going to have to crowdfund will, it. And we will, we will have a Sasquatch body by the end of it. It's not going to be me, so. We're not going to shoot a Sasquatch. <laughs> I might. <laughs> I'm not shooting the squad. I don't want to go because I don't Unless want the squad to squad that squad I'm, I'm gonna like I'm gonna go for like the kneecaps or the ankles or something like that. I'm gonna like cripple them. Well, so we I can, just like, want to wound them. Like, drag them out. We, we are drag not out. injuring Bigfoot. And then we can put them in like a, we can put them in the zoo. You know the Sequoia Park Zoo. Look, we do not Bigfoot, 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 Bigfoot in the Sequoia Park Zoo would be a huge hit. No. Aside from the sure fact would. that I'm pretty, pretty sure we would also sure go to jail for shooting Bigfoot. He would just fling shit at you How? like build a Why monkey. would you go to jail for Bigfoot? What, what rules are there against what? shooting Bigfoot? I, I mean, I, technically there's none because he technically he, Exactly. Know. So, I mean, yeah, so there you can't get a Why would you want to Bigfoot. shoot him, though? I would just want to cripple him. What did he ever do to you? <laughs> you were, <laughs> I don't know, man, but I want to make sure he can't walk anymore. <laughs> That's some that's some horrible shit. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, not doing I'm not gonna be able. To, I'm not gonna be able to like, hey, Bigfoot, no. why don't you hold my hand as we walk out of the woods and take you to the zoo? I'm not gonna be able to do that. Okay, <laughs> we're not doing that. All right, we are talking about James Dean's car, little bastard. <laughs> we're not done yet. We're we're not uh, done we, yet. Thought we were going somewhere with that. Oh, we were going somewhere with Bigfoot still. I mean, uh, hey, fine. It's Bigfoot. Get, get in the shot. <laughs> get in the shot for your tangent about Bigfoot. <laughs> Bigfoots are too smart for too smart for bear traps. They they see them and they understand them. 
Ah, they live underground, and they're also living on Mars. Apparently, I heard recently. You know, no one knows what the heck is happening with it. Bigfoot's on Mars. It's right here, or Venus. All right, guys. So, what we do want to talk about, though, what do they live on Uranus? <laughs> in your anus. Lost them in your anus, Paco. <laughs> Let's get to the damn story finally. All right. Hollywood curses and haunts. We want to start with a big one because this is. <laughs> The big kahuna. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that because I already know. So, <laughs> James Dean, the actor. Anybody know about him at all? Not you? you? James Dean? Yeah. Not much. I just know he was in, he actually was. Was he in a movie? He was in three movies at his time. That was it. And he was actually in a commercial for Pepsi at some point. What? Yeah, when he was younger, he was in a, a Pepsi commercial. And then, hold on. Wait, no. Bleed up Pepsi because they're not paying us. He was in a bleep commercial about soda. Soda commercial? Yeah, it's not like I didn't just say it, so, you know. Just watch a few seconds ago and know where he's at. Anyway, so, he was in three movies. I believe it was East of Eden, um, uh, Giants, or Big? I think it was Giant. And then Rebel Without a Cause. I knew about that one. That one I knew about. Those were the three movies. I don't know what the, like, what was Giant or Big or something? It was like one word. I have no idea. Big. That's Tom Hanks. I also I heard no that you found him attractive. <laughs> Who does Billy off screen? Who doesn't find him attractive? <laughs> he was a quintessential bad boy. Okay, so just like Ben Diesel. Anywho, so that's a bigger finish. <laughs> Word. Like I said, my, my bubblegum Ben Diesel. Uh, what, what is it? It's a, it's a bust with his toenails for eyes. Oh God! Things. He's gonna fight you, and you're gonna die. <laughs> That may happen, but I wish I could say I got my, 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 my head kicked in by, by Vin Diesel. That's, that's at least something, right? I mean, come on. All right, so in 1955, James Dean traded his 55 Porsche Beaster for a 55 Porsche 550. Porsche. Porsche 550. Porsche? Spider. He traded his what? What yep. kind of Porsche was that? Hold on. Porsche 550 <laughs> Spider. He traded, I, I believe you're not saying in 1955 traded his 55 Porsche for a 55 He traded his 55 Speeder. The speedster for a 55 Porsche Spider. Now, yep, that wasn't the car he wanted, essentially. Now, for those of you who don't know, a Spider is a convertible car. A drop top. Is that what the term is? Yes. I didn't know that. A roofless car. Yeah, now we know. I've always wondered what that is. No, like, that. legitimately, I've never looked it up. I've always wondered. I just thought it was a moniker that was given to a specific car. I always thought that was just a specific it car. I didn't legs. realize that there was something it that it had a specific meaning. Spider. I just thought it would be a cool name for a car. What? I mean, it's. A, oh, I agree. It's a cool name for a car, but it's a reference to a car that is a drop top or has no roof. Now I've learned something. There we go. The more you know. <laughs> next, <laughs> time, <laughs> next time, don't assume. Just learn. Word. So, um, that wasn't the car he wanted, though. He wanted a, uh, a Lotus. You know, you say that, but I was reading about the fact that he was very um, he, adamant about he the He pre-ordered the Lotus, though. He pre-ordered the Lotus. Well, he was also a car enthusiast. He's huge. He loved cars. He's a racer. As far as I remember, he wanted the 550 for racing. He wasn't allowed to race because of a contract with one of his movies, but he ordered the Lotus first, but Lotus couldn't deliver it to him yet. No, I didn't hear that part, so my research is incomplete, apparently. Mine's incomplete. Everyone's... Who cares? We're here about the Porsche, not the Lotus. He wanted an MKX Lotus. So the Lotus does sound cool, I'll say that. I mean, if you like Lotuses, I mean, they're cool. Lotuses are pretty cool. They break yeah, down a lot, yeah. though. Yeah, they're, well, they're, they're really break down a lot. They have a transmission issue. What? You have a transmission issue. Are you a mechanic? I watched, I watched a certain show from BBC that, I'm sorry, I watched a certain show from a British broadcasting thing, and they explained that Lotuses have transition, transition You can't, You can't believe everything that you see on TV. They probably have transition problems. <sighs> <laughs> Much like Anyways. Bruce Jenner. Okay. <laughs> you, you, can, you, can oh. you did Anyhow. say transition. <laughs> Tripod Billy on the side screen. What? Anyway, so he really he was a racer. He loved he loved racing, but he had a contractual racing. agreement where he couldn't race during one of his movies. You know what movie that was? Um, I think it was, I think it was, uh, he was actually, back in the day, they didn't do like a contract for one movie, I believe. They actually did a lump. You had to do a certain amount and you can only work with one studio and so he, for his entire contract, he couldn't race because it was dangerous. 
And I think it started with Rebel Without a Cause because he, they knew he was a racer and they didn't want him going him. off. And so, <laughs> and so, essentially, I think it was the last one, which was like Giant. I believe the movie. I, I'm pretty sure the movie was called Giant. If if I'm wrong, someone could look it up maybe in chat. Let us know what his last movie was. I, I think it was Giant, but he wasn't allowed to race for it until that. after the contract for that last movie was up. And it actually didn't so even it, it didn't even act, come out until after his death, I believe. Which I think it was both Rebel Without a Cause and Giant didn't come out until after his passing. His first one, East of Eden, I believe, did come out for it did come out before he passed away, but the last two didn't. So there you go. So um, with the car, it was a 550. It was customized uh, by the guy who actually would go on to do the Batmobile for Adam West's show, the original Batman show. Was it Garrus? <clears throat> That's not cool. <laughs> it was asked for in chat. Sorry. No, it was not. Yes, it was. Look, what? It just says back. Yeah. LOL. Because you had already done it. That's why. <laughs> oh, you yeah, had yeah, already yeah. done it. Anyway, Put it up to bagging. No sir, more no joke. Way. No more fucking, like, tag joke. Damn it. I owe myself five bucks. Anyway, the five picture <laughs> is customized by the man who would eventually design the Batmobile, um, George Barris. Yes. Correct? Right? Yeah. yeah. Now, he painted the car silver. What was it silver to begin with? Do you remember? Um, the car was originally silver. What he had him do was he had um, tartan seats, on. pinstripes above the wheel, and then the number, uh, I think it was 130? I think so. I think it was, I think it was 130 was placed upon the car. And that was that was really the most of the modifications he did. Yeah, there wasn't, well, no, there was engine mods, but not much. Well, from what, what mostly was body that mods. in depth. It was mostly just body. Well, Bill Hickman uh, actually did, or. Er, Nick, it is a, a, a shoe, <laughs> not a sandal door slipper. We are amazing. We are bad. So, now, that said, he had the car done. He had it customized with some very popular people, including the guy that did the Batmobile. Yep. Or would go on to do the Batmobile. But, that said, the force may be not with James Dean. Nope, sounds like it's not. Sounds like it. Force it may be a curse, not. or it could be... The dark side. Because uh, James Dean rolled around in this car, the little bastard. He ran upon Sir Alec Guinness. Obi-Wan himself! What did Obi-Wan say? Obi-Wan looked at the car, and, and I believe it was stated that he said that the car had an evil look about it. Mm -hmm. It was sinister. Or had a sinister, sinister look about it. And he told James Dean that if you get into, or if you drive this car... You will be dead within the week. If you don't get rid of the car, you'll be dead within a week. If you don't get rid of it, or get rid of the car, you'll be dead within a week. And what happened to him? Exactly. One week later. One week, James Dean was dead. dead. Shocking. I bet you didn't know that. Now, Obi-Wan, <laughs> normally we'd think that maybe Obi had moved to the dark side through Alec Guinness. But the fact is, old Ben wasn't the first person, or the only person, he was the first, maybe not the first person, he was not the only person to warn Dean about the car. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure the mechanic did. Ursula Andress's girlfriend did. Ooh, the girlfriend. You always kind of... Eartha Kit. You have to listen to them sometimes. Who's Eartha Kit? Eartha Kit? You know I know the name, but I don't remember. Was it Lucius? Elvis is still alive. Do you know who Eartha Kit is? Was that? Eartha Kit. Was she Catwoman? Kit? Yes! Catwoman! The hottest yes! Catwoman ever. Yeah. So I know. Every, God, time, every time I hear the word... Every time you, like, uh, say Kit... You anyway, know, so I always think of a car. Hell, We're going on sorry. to the curse I get, now. I can't get Let's past continue on. We're still car. getting there. We have to go into history a little bit. I, 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 Botching balls, bro. Well, we're already kind of at the history. I mean... Okay, but the point is, people said... And yes, we did. It does. It. <sighs> it's not your koozie, it's my koozie. Well, it's part so, of the sluts. Yeah, it does. I have that pool on it. <laughs> Anyhow, so... A lot of people warned him not to drive the little bastard too much. Well, Nobody? yeah. I mean, essentially what happened was... Okay, so the, the filming ends, right? Fuck, it made me laugh. He sees, um... He sees Alec Guinness, he sees all the people, and then he, he drives. The problem with James Dean was... And the reason they didn't want him uh, driving during the movie was because he drives too fast. He, he didn't like to drive slow. He actually did a PSA about not driving fast on highways before he died. Why are you in such a hurry? I'm not in a hurry. I'm explaining it because breathe. people want. You know what? I will breathe when I'm ready to breathe. Usa. 
Part by sector. <laughs> I got this. Anywho, so he he, dri- he he had a problem with driving fast because he loved the race. Um, he actually won the first race he was in. He goes, he's driving down the highway um, at basically max speed because, and as explained by his girlfriend who did survive the crash, that he was trying his to break it. Was in the crash. Yeah, it was go- I'm pretty sure it was like it wasn't his. Mechanic. Oh, it's the mechanic. That's right. The mechanic was the in mechanic. The mechanic, was the mechanic there. from yeah. Porsche. Right. Oh yes, yes, yes. Right. Would yeah. you like me to go over the history a little more so you get the the whole details? Here? I, we got like 20 minutes left at the freaking show. Let's just well, get it. Let's the get it the right I way. I the show. I can do the show as long as I want. All right. Okay. <laughs> so essentially, the little bastard was supposed to be transported by a trailer to Salinas Racetrack. That was the original plan. That was the original plan. But the mechanic said. No, get in mind, guys. George wow, Barris himself. They just cut me off. They just cut me off. Just cut me off. Own it. I see how it is. You, you I see how it is. Hollywood. No, no, you go ahead. And, 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 and <laughs> curses is going to be all about little bastard because you just can't get through yourself. <laughs> Continue. I, I, you sure? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be quiet now. Mm-mm. Don't be too quiet. No, we won't be quiet. I don't hear any talking. You guys are killing me. <laughs> why, uh, why, why didn't they trailer it? Why, why didn't they trailer it? I didn't know this part. Because Rolf... Um, Wutherick, or Wutherick, whatever is a German name, mm-hmm. it was the mechanic for Porsche that actually the factory mechanic came down and said, hey, drive it. Get some time behind the wheel, break the engine in, and he rode with him. He's the one that got tossed out of the car when the crash finally happened. Mm-hmm. It's kind of weird that you'd think that he was so lucky to survive because he was <laughs> thrown from the car. And James Dean, who was in the car he when it buckle hit. up. Yeah, he didn't buckle up at all. And, that is not I, a good PSA for buckling uh, up. Don't wear your seatbelt. <laughs> <laughs> it was a uh, shattered leg and a broken jaw, but you'll still live if a Ford fucking don't, hits you. Don't the listen collision, to him. <laughs> the collision was on the driver's side as well. And so, like, when he hit it, it well, was on the driver's side. Happened? So, like, okay, it so, just, like, impaled him through the freaking windshield and out into the road. No, no, not at all. No, that's not what happened. I like to think so. We <laughs> <laughs> like to think that's what happened. <laughs> so what's happening is... They were on a long drive. Now, in Dean's Ford station wagon, he's been followed by uh, his, his regular mechanic and a photographer. I think it was Time Life magazine. It could be wrong. But they are following him, and, they, and he actually warned him when they get to a pit stop, hey, just so you know, your car's really low slung and silver. It's hard to see. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Well, Dean got a citation for speeding. It should have been signed, so the station wagon trying to keep up. But he got up, and actually um, what uh, Wertherick said was, Dean, one of his last words was, oh, no, he sees us. He's going to slow down. He's going to stop or some shit like that. Because the Ford, uh, it was a um, a Ford Tudor, which is a big-ass car, driven by a college student, was turning on, and Dean was going too fast. Now, guys, this is a, a four-cylinder engine, just so you know. The fastest it was, like, what, like 80 miles per hour? Like 25, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no, no, it was fast, though, because it was an aluminum frame. Everything. Everything was aluminum. It was one of the first, like, as far as I know, one of the first real lightweight, super like, fast cars. Yeah, because this was like, the, this is around the time they were first designing, like, real race cars properly, right? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. They got out of that, like, that, that round race property. cars. No, they're just trying to be fast just because it sells. Yeah. Mostly because of people like James Dean, or what it caused, the whole idea of you drive fast, you win. That's it. Like, yeah. That's really a thing. But he was warned many times not to drive the car by different people. But what happened is he's going, and the guy was making a turn into, he was coming the opposite way and turned and hit Dean on the driver's side, threw the car about 50 feet into the air. The tutor wasn't badly damaged too much, and the driver was fine. But Dean broke his neck on the steering wheel. He actually lived in the crash, right? He died on the way to the hospital. He, well, I mean... He, or he died there, but he, he actually... He might have, right? but he was dying, but... The uh, Rolf uh, Wutherich actually got tossed out of the rig and broke his jaw and shattered a leg. But it had some internal damage, but it was all right <clears> in the end. But Dean didn't make it. Now, Little Bastard, though, the story doesn't end there because it goes on. This is the curse of Little Bastard. Yeah. Want to go to the next one? You want to take the next story? Well, I believe it, after that, is I believe Little Bastard Barris, the car that he was driving? Yes. Yeah, that was the name of the car. Well, Little it Bastard was, actually named that. It was, was the name well, of, the name of Little Bastard was the nickname of James Dean that a, 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 a mechanic or a pinstriper gave him. So he got tagged on the car. So the car is now a Little Bastard. Mm-hmm. 
But uh, tripod Billy ass next to us. I believe you guys can't see him, but I believe Barris bought that or the the mechanic that worked with him to do the uh, the modifications. Uh, I think his name was uh, Barris, who, who did the Batmobile. Yes. And it was, he bought it next, and he actually got hurt by it. Well, he bought it from the insurance company. The insurance okay, well, company called it a total loss of twenty five hundred bucks. Mm-hmm. Back okay. then it was a lot of money. Yeah, back then it was quite a bit of money. Uh, well, he bought it back, and then he went to part it out. But while it was in a shop, the little bastard fell off the rack and broke both of his legs. Well, no, wasn't it the uh, wasn't it the motor that uh, that fell off? Yeah, I always thought it was a yeah, car. I, I, I thought, I I thought the, the motor was because oh. the, the the car the car fell off the tow truck. The car fell off a couple times. Yeah, it, it oh. fell off a couple. We're getting. Ahead I, of I thought ourselves. I thought it was uh, I thought it was the motor that fell off of the right. mount and or not the mount. The whole the, car actually uh, fell off and broke both of his legs. Oh damn! Wow. Um, Evil son of a bitch. Who was Eva? <laughs> now, what? <laughs> Isn't that Eva's nickname for everyone? <laughs> I must have missed it. So, yeah, I missed it in chat. So, Dr. Troy and McHenry bought the engine. Sorry, Chris Ward. And, and Dr. Trying to get you in there. Eshrid picked up the transaxle. Now, these guys were both racing at the same time, at the same place, in Pomona on October 24th, in 1956. During the race, McHenry's car actually spun out and hit a tree, killing him instantly. Damn. No, you have no comment here? Well, I mean, what do you want me to say? Um, wow, that's not a way to topic. get ahead. <laughs> oh. I have no good funds for this. What? So, Eshrid's car, going around a turn, actually rolled out because his entire transaxle locked up. That was what he got from Dean's car. He lived, but he got badly hurt. Okay, so there's actually another part about this that comes in. There was a guy um, after this incident. After this incident took place, there was a guy who came forward because uh, Barris owned the parts, and he was trying to sell it, and so he made kind of a mythology around it, apparently. These two in, in the original. And he said that he had actually destroyed James Dean's car. That he had been the one to trash all over this? No, I'm just saying that there's actually a guy after this story who came forward in this, I think it was after these two stories where came forward that he said he sold it to those guys that Barris was making it up. But the thing is, is things happened, I believe, after the fact, too. Way after. And yeah. And it continued to happen. That's what I'm saying, is, is there was a guy who came forward. It just didn't make sense. So, two of the surviving tires from the wreck of Little Bastard got sold to a guy from New York. Put him on his car, he was driving down the road, and both the tires exploded at the same time. Okay, so and there's no reason that he when inspected, there's no reason to think they would explode. That's essentially you have an, a, a counter argument to this. No, I I, I spiked up on the road. No, no damage to the tires at all. It just exploded. It just exploded. Supposedly, allegedly. It just it's it, the story is so interesting to me. Actually, because these first three stories, it's because every anybody who got involved or touched this car or got near it essentially got hurt. Dunn way. got messed up. A A Ron. <laughs> But that, you know, the story, once again, the story doesn't even end there. Like, those three instances, you, or what, four instances you think would be bad enough, but the story just oh, doesn't finish. Oh, wait. There's, there's more. more. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to take a moment here. Don't forget to like, follow, and share this so we can move on. And if you guys are on YouTube, you know, bigger. make sure you guys click the little bell for the notifications. Yeah. You know. Notifications in your Facebook page. Absolutely, too. absolutely. And then uh, if you have your own stories or anything like that, you guys can always email us at vanishinggates at gmail.com. That's with two Gs. And you can follow us on Twitter. Ooh. It's right tail again now. Make sure you... Uh, I'm not going to say this stuff. And make sure you hop on Patreon. You know, a dollar a month. Really? A buck I mean, a month. That you won't even notice it's way. gone. <laughs> you, we you actually really made a dollar already, guys. Yeah, we, we nice. Really have we really have. We, we made one dollar. Thank, thank, thank you to Jeff Davis. <laughs> we only have about thank you, Jeff. 25 hundred more dollars to make before I'm <laughs> even anyway so the next story please speak your mind if you'd like to hear uh, Billy Tripod Tripod Billy needs to sing a song <laughs> Nick if the bell I is sing fine a, the if bell I sing fine. a song all these guys would look very very small <laughs> compared to the tripod <laughs> anywho so um now that said after the tires blew up on the car <laughs> There were there were two thieves that tried to steal stuff from the car. Yeah, there were two thieves. The um, first one was the guy. You, you do it. 
the first guy who actually got injured in this death was trying to steer was trying to steal off the car a steering wheel. Was just trying to take uh, the steering wheel off uh, the car. Steering wheel. Thank and you, Bridget. Somehow his freaking arm you, got Bridget. mangled. Like his arm got mangled trying to steal a steering wheel. I have no idea how that happens. He randomly hit a part of the jagged edge of the car and got ripped up. Mm -hmm. Now there was a second thief too who tried to steal the blood from the seat of James Dean. I have no idea what happened to that one. I don't know. Uh... You got fucked up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I looked it up, guys. I was tired. I, I was doing this till 4 o'clock in the morning last night, so... <laughs> See, I told you, he has nothing else better to do. That's so, not true. <laughs> essentially, just even people who were Mostly simply trying true. to steal from the car. They weren't trying to, like, race or anything. They are just trying to steal things from it. And they got hurt in the process of stealing from it. Like what? Like the question is: Is it a curse or is it just James Dean haunting? You know what? Well, so go ahead. You know, just this is kind of like on a side note. You know, with all this talk about racing and cars, you know, and all this stuff going on, I just, you know, I, I feel like it's the appropriate you time. You want to talk about the vanishing gates cars that are gonna race next year? Exactly. Yes, I want to go ahead and talk about this really <laughs> quick. Okay, so next year around this time, uh, I actually won't be on the show. Um, I'm Ask. actually. I, I'm taking a uh, I'm taking a brief break and I'm actually going to be uh, a sabbatical break to be able to uh, uh, actually race myself and uh, be uh, on You're the track. Race yourself on the track. <laughs> well, yeah, well, you know what I mean. That's you a know really exactly slow what I mean. Race. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be uh, in in a mini stock division on uh, Redwood Acres Raceway up here in uh, Eureka, California. Well, what's your luck in that? And uh, you know, Banshee Gates will be a uh, proud proud sponsor of. I'm a proud. Of our uh, of our racing team, and uh, I just felt did like I, this, did I get a race? I felt like I felt like this was the appropriate time to actually bring this during the story about a car that actually, crashed that and now sense. kills people. You know? that, that really <laughs> makes sense because all you guys would miss the paper bag and sunglasses. You really would. I mean, we would right. feel. I mean, we how would many feel that it would not be okay if he did not race it because we don't feel that the other people are efficient. Thank you, Tripod Billy. Thank you. Yes. Very much. We need to have him on the show more often. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Knuckles. Uh, there is actually someone over there. We're not making this up. This isn't a Furby. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I'm, no, we I'm, are sponsoring. I want, I, want, I want your cookies. I'm, I, I really I really want some peanut butter cookies right now. I mean, right now. no, those are mine. No, they're those. mine. Those are my favorite. Those are my favorite. You better bring me In some. In chat, by the way, we're talking better, about cookies. You better M is bring me cookies. Oh my gosh. All right, so. So how was your pink taco? <sighs> anyway, so. The CHP asked Barris to let them use the car to show teens the importance of safe driving. Now, the flatbed that was transporting the car to their events was actually involved in a very serious wreck. The driver survived, but when he got out of his truck, went around to check the flatbed, little bastard actually rolled off the flatbed and killed him. So when, okay, so he got an accident, goes back to look, and the car rolls off and yep. hits him. Just he, out of nowhere, too. A very serious, mangly accident. He got out of the truck, was able to go back and check the car, and the car just kind of got... That is one nowhere. pissed off car. <laughs> you know what? You He's know a what? little bastard. It kind of reminds me, <laughs> it, I don't know if anybody else has actually seen it, uh, but there is actually a movie out there, it's called Rubber. Have you ever seen that? Have you seen Rubber? No. No? I mean, this this whole thing kind of reminds me of this killer tire that goes around no, terrorizing no, 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 and no, no, killing no. people. Oh, my God. That should be Paco's picks for the surgery. Oh, my I'm goodness. Uh, don't, I don't. I don't. Paco really doesn't don't. do Paco's picks anymore because he doesn't oh, care about you no, guys. No, it's not that I don't care about you guys. It's that, you know, my actual, my actual paying job, you know, is more important. And I can't really take time off to be able to do it at this moment. Um, it's summertime. It's very busy. To apologize, OPPP will, or OPP, will <laughs> resume. <laughs> there's not three P's in there, there's only two. It will resume. There's I barely apologize. one P in that. Hey, you barely know what? One. That is, that is so true. He's hoping for, <laughs> he's hoping for a 25 cent raise. <laughs> so after Shout the, out. <laughs> after the driver of the flatbed was killed, he got stored in a, um, a garage for a little bit. Good evening, Eric. 
<laughs> Try to pop Billy's ring from the side, guys. So yeah, 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 yeah. He's there. Hey, you know what? We should kind of have him as our chat guy, though. Uh-huh. I mean, this actually might work out. <laughs> it might be funnier than most of our comments. Just out of nowhere, just somebody just chiming in. But uh, so the garage that little bass was stored in actually uh, burnt down to the ground. Happy birthday to the ground. That is. Thing. That's a terrible thing, man. <laughs> Dung didn't die in the fire. Now, little terrible. bastard wasn't hurt. It was the only thing to survive the entire... The wreckage of little bastard, let me clarify, was the only thing to survive this fire in this garage. What? Damn. This car survived? This Yeah. Well, it was, parts it, of it. <laughs> the rest of it. The problem with it is, is it seems like anyone who, like I said, anyone who deals with it, people who try to steal from it, anything that tries to basically either hurt it, move it, touch it, if or even own it, James winds up getting hurt. If you did messed up anything, anything you deal with it. Like, stripping it apart obviously means that you're probably going to die if you put it on your car. Now, on the fourth anniversary of James Dean's death, on uh, September 30th and 59, the car was on display at Sacramento High School. Uh, a kid was, a 15 year old kid was where I'm from. At. You shouldn't say that too much, too loud. Sacramento? <laughs> like, I wouldn't brag about that. So, the car itself, the kid was looking at it, 15 year old kid. The car actually, the bullets that were holding the car up broke, and he actually broke his hip, that kid. Slammed into him and broke his hip. It sounds like little bastard was taking it easy on him. Was he like a 70-year-old kid? <laughs> <laughs> no, little bastard's an actual bastard. It, just, it sounds like of all the, things he's, all, all the things he's done, that sounds like he took it easy on the kid. Yeah, I think so, I think so. <laughs> he was just trying to give a scare. What was the kid doing? He was just looking, looking at, at the car. He was just looking at it. Yeah. Just looking? Just, just looking. Because well, it was, uh, it was, it was, it was, uh, uh, CHP asked to have it so they could put it on display, right? They, the mechanic didn't, like, the mechanic, the story behind it is the mechanic actually hid Little Bastard. He didn't want to put it on display, he didn't want to even touch it, which is why it was in storage, and the storage burned down. As he finally gave up and gave it to CHP, they took it off his hands no, because it was, it was such an issue. It was while it was, while it was in CHP's hands. Oh, I thought it was, I thought it was no. before. Okay. Now, Little Bastard um, also caused another couple wrecks when it was in New Orleans. It fell off a truck, two parts, broke in half, caused a couple fa- uh, Little parts Bastard. Are broken I thought it was fatal wrecks, but bad wrecks. Well, then Little Bastard just disappeared. Yeah. There you go. The truck was driving back to the, the original place where it crashed, right? I think t- James Dean's original location. Uh, no. Sheridan. They were in, they were Sheridan? in New Orleans. And they were they driving were... back to California from New Orleans. <laughs> and then it crashed. Sheridan, California? It fell yeah. off the flatbed. Sheridan, California? Probably. I think it was Sheridan. And then on California? the road, there, there was the crash. Yes, California. Sheridan, California. I believe it was Sheridan. I'm not no, 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 no. The only reason why I say Sheridan, California, I mean, like, I, my whole family, well, my mom's, say my, that. My mom's side of the well, family is from Sheridan, California. I, I believe it was the place where he actually had the accident originally. Ask them to stay away from the little bastard. I mean, that's uh, uh, my, uh, well, my, my aunt and my grandmother that are watching right now, they're in Sheridan, California. Hi, Paco's family. Hi, guys. Yeah. Love you. Am I agree with so. you. <laughs> I, I'm not sure if it was Sheridan, though. I know it was an S of some sort. <laughs> but I essentially, um, if I remember correctly, it was it caused the accidents, and then the truck, every, I, I believe they got the car back on, they got all the parts back on, and then as the truck pulled in, they stopped. The car was just gone. Where did it go? Just disappeared. It just disappeared. It just disappeared. They don't yeah. know. It was gone. The only thing that there's, they, no, sorry, so there's a million... The car was never on it. That's by why. the way, guys, there's a million dollar bounty for a little bastard, if you find it. The remaining... Now... There was a door that showed up in Chicago. My aunt and my ago. grandmother, start looking. If it's in Sheridan, California, it's there. <laughs> Find it! Or Million it's the, dollars! Or more than likely, it's somewhere in the desert because it fell off and tumbled out. <laughs> that does well, not no. mean that you can call Paco a little bastard. <laughs> but we'll call Paco a little bastard from now on. He's now a little bastard Paco. No. No, the fact is... Um, mm. There is a million dollar reward for the remains of the little bastard. Not me, the car. <laughs> Don't kill Paco. It's not worth it. <laughs> when was this? When was this million dollar recently? Bounty because it showed up in Chicago at a uh, like a, a auto show or something. And the was Mo- the, did Mothman deliver the message? No. Oh. But there was there was the, they know the VIN numbers match that. The, 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 there's no the numbers on every part of the car. What on the door, the, there's numbers on each piece. Yeah, 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 numbers on each piece. Of yeah, the, of the it car. was the door of little bastard. They know okay. that much. The numbers match. That's all I'm saying. Well, the owner is still Burris, and he's still pissed off about the fact that he isn't the car anymore. All I can say is M is vicious. Yeah, hope, she should be. And I She's hope very... the, I hope Paco is okay. I will be okay. 
All right, guys. So this I want this... peanut butter cookies. <laughs> <laughs> no, Bridget, 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 you're supposed to be my friend. Please take Let's it easy. On, Paco <laughs> wants your peanut butter cookies. No. Hey, anyway, so now this 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 show is Hollywood curses and haunts. So let's talk about another curse in Hollywood there. Jack, your your buddy, the Poltergeist video. Mm. The movie Poltergeist. Poltergeist. Oh, yeah, the the um, the Poltergeist curse. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. No, the, the story, that that is actually, um, there's a theory that... That's legit as hell. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to say that right now. It just sounds like a series of very unfortunate events. It's a, it's a hypothetical. But hypothetical. there's a lot of them. There, there's like five or six different it's incidences. And the thing is, is, is I totally forgot about it, so I forgot to get the dates. So, and the names. So it's not soup. Away. We just want good. So in other words, he did no research Anyways. whatsoever. Poultry. That was a terrible Poultry movie. Poultry guys. Terrible yes. movie. So anyway, so. I'm pretty sure we've been down this rabbit hole before. The story, Are you calling us a chicken? You like rabbit holes, don't you? I love rabbit holes. The story of the, the poltergeist curse actually starts off, you know, <laughs> it, it actually kind of goes through the series. The original movie had an instance in it where, spoiler alert, for those of you who haven't seen it, if you want to watch it. Yeah, if you haven't seen movies, it's been out for 35 years. It's kind of your fault. Spoilers. But, anyway, so, 20, there's 20 a scene ago. where the mother falls into a pool to get her, I believe it was the um, spoiler. Caroline or the son. <laughs> Sorry. I already did it. The sun was in the water, and all of a sudden, these skeletons come up and start trying to grab her, right? Well, the thing is, is they didn't tell her until after the fact that it was too expensive to make plastic or fake versions of skeletons, so they simply just bought real skeletons. <laughs> because either they didn't have time or something like that. So she didn't know until after the fact she was in the pool with actual skeletons. And that's when things kind of started going a little wonky. <laughs> the, daughter, the oldest daughter in the movie, uh, wonky? she wound up... Yes, wonky, thank you. <laughs> Word of the week. <laughs> so the the oldest daughter actually winds up getting killed a little while I think it was before the movie released I'm not sure but she gets she actually wound up getting stabbed to death by her boyfriend um and then that wasn't great enough because uh, <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't good enough get that stabbed to death in the face it's not good enough then there was uh the, then the second movie I, I know there was what was it I seriously should have remembered well, you guys too. Polar guys too. There was a the, there was a Native American guy or uh, man yeah, who worked yeah, on. Yeah. He was actually I think he was like a shaman or something like that. Native and he American did a, gentleman. Shaman. Gentleman. Shaman. He did a he did a blessing because of the spirits. You know he, he wanted to do a blessing. He actually wind up dying shortly a little while later after the movie. And so did another guy who was um, older. He died of complications, but he was actually diagnosed with cancer before the show. A lot of these things just seem like coincidences. But the shaman who did this. Was, winky he died of like he, he died of malnourishment. Shaman. He was in a movie. Shaman. And shaman. He he wound up dying of malnourishment. Potato, potato. So the daughter Carol Ann was the only one to actually go through all three movies. And she still died. And then yes, she actually died of uh, complications due to surgery at like age of twelve, I believe. She was probably getting a facelift. No, she That's was awful. twelve. And she had like she was getting surgery for her kidneys or something like that, and then there was a mistake, and she wound up dying. Well. That's amazing, great for you. Anyway, so <laughs> so he dies shortly, you know, in his like fifty five, he dies, and then another dude dies, or you know, the the older guy dies. He dies of malnourishment, no idea why. And then Carol Ann dies, <laughs> and then one more guy during the movie actually almost died in a plane crash. He landed in, or uh, his plane hit the oh, water. That was, that was Coach. Yeah, and he was yeah, like yeah, one yeah. of a few people to actually wa like walk away. But what coach. about tonsils? They get in the way. Oh, she has her tonsil removed. Was that it? Oh, she did have tonsils. M in chat says that Carol Ann died of tonsil surgery. Huh. Mm. That's unfortunate. Actually, anyway, so, unfortunate. knowing who's saying it, I, I actually totally believe that. There were, I think, there were a few other like obscure. Thank you for your input. But, but essentially, it was it was just the fact that these series of events happened after the fact, and people believe it goes back to the skeletons that the movie was cursed, kind of like The Exorcist, and then apparently some people think that the shaman, when he tried to um, alleviate shaman. that, or yeah, the shaman, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> He attempted to alleviate the spirits, but he wasn't able to do it fully, and he wound up simply angering them, and so it made things a little worse. And so it wasn't until recently they actually created, or they made the, they remade um, a terrible movie, I believe. Uh, that's they remade Poltergeist. 
Yes, they remade Poltergeist, and I believe everybody I've talked to said it was just terrible. Don't do that. That was a wonderful story. Don't remake Poltergeist. That was, that was a great story. So when they relieved <laughs> him, how did they relieve him? What? Did they go down on him? <laughs> I believe they so, killed him. <laughs> so, okay, so besides Thank the Poltergeist you. story, wasn't there a, wasn't there a woman that actually, like, jumped? All the, the Hollywood the Hollywood sign. sign. Yeah, yes. the letter yes, A. I think it was like the letter H. Is she Peggy, actually Peg and Twistle? Yeah, she she jumped off this freaking off sign. The H, yeah. Off the H. Off the H. And then like I guess uh from now, uh people still say that they mm-hmm. they can actually see her in the clothes see her on that the trail in her it, actual yeah, adornment. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And what she and wore back in those clothing. days yeah. and actually witnessed her jump off the letter and everything. Some people say, yeah. 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 yeah Peg and Twistle, guys, she moved to Hollywood. Tried she was like a theater actor. Actress. Don't, don't be mad at me. Actress. And she uh, was in a, in a movie, and the, her scenes got cut out. She was very upset by it, and she got drunk, because no one no one, no one, one gets drunk. No one, no one drinks. We don't drink. Alcohol. Well, essentially what happened was, it wasn't just that her, her, so much water her on car the show. got cut. So it was water. also because almost no one was picking <laughs> her Her whole up. scene got cut. Well, she was yeah. only in the movie for three minutes. Well, yeah, but right. they cut out all they, of her. They, yeah, they cut, yeah. they cut her completely But it wasn't out. just that. It was a series of the fact that, you know, a lot of people weren't hiring her. She applied to a lot of things, and according to what I was reading, almost no one would take her on. And so she was just getting depressed because no one wanted to take her Which in. Which was terrible because she was hot. Yes, that's what's important, not her skills. In the 20s and 30s, porn wasn't a thing yet. She would have made so much more money <laughs> in this day and age. <laughs> that's... That's why I make these jokes. This reaction. Oh, that's terrible heartbreaking. But yeah, people do say these. These gentlemen do watch a lot of porn. Hey, hey, not a lot. Most of it. (laughs) I apologize. The appropriate amount. (laughs) Is there an inappropriate amount? (laughs) Well, in my tripod's on the stand. (laughs) You never know. We need more tripods oh, on man. the show. I think so. But, <laughs> I think so. <laughs> but that's not the only. If you would like a remake, <laughs> no of remakes. The tripod, no remakes. No. I apologize. Not the remake. <laughs> they choke on it. <laughs> if you would like to hear me again, please let us know. <laughs> yeah, let us know if you want to see more. If you want to hear more of <laughs> tripod Billy on the show. <laughs> I don't live you too far, I don't live too far, but they can feel me from at here. Gmail.com. That's with two G's. I don't That's live too far. Awesome. I don't you live know. too far, but they can feel me from here. Fantasy <laughs> gates. Oh my god. Alright. So Hollywood doesn't just have one ghost. That's not very good. Not just Hollywood. Also, that's probably not news to anyone. What? There's only what one ghost in Hollywood. Only one. There's only one. It's just Peg Edwards. It's not by goodness. herself. Well, I know another one though. What ghost? Oh, what? Superman. Enlighten us. Superman. He's a ghost in Hollywood. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. George Reeves. Why well, am? Oh, Why? Okay. I was like, is he saving people or? How come Tiny is Tim always deal? have to overcompensate? What? Tripod Billy. Why would you like? Would, 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 you like to... would you like to see the outcome? No, <laughs> no, 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 we would not. not. On this channel. No, we would not. I mean, I don't mind producing your video, but I'm not going to do this on the show. So, George <laughs> that's, Reeves, that's the original we do Superman, separate from this. Superman, guys. Just so you know, the guy that we get shot at, take bullets in the chest, then duck down when someone threw a gun at him. <laughs> he was actually executed or killed himself, depending no, on the story. No word, word. He either shot himself in the head, or one of his lovers or girlfriends or wives did. This big, like, uh... Seems like he had a lot of, uh... No, we got enough comedies to watch And you are <laughs> such a sweetheart. <laughs> Check back in, we're doing the show. So, shot in the head. Maybe we should talk. He said to haunt the home that he died in. He even woke up tenants in the home at, like, 3 a.m., and they went down to the front room to see him in a Superman outfit. He was murdered. Adam said she was, he was murdered. I believe everything M says. 
So essentially what happens here is I would have So essentially <laughs> people totally just have him like waking them up and he's like walking down the stairs except for the overcompensation turning on the TV part. watching stuff. <laughs> now the question is why is he in a Superman costume? He knows your family. You like walk around the house in I a mean, Superman costume he was like he was proud. He was probably proud of what he did. He's Superman. He's Superman. I mean, he's come on. Superman. Who was the ghost would come back dressed as Superman? I, well, okay, that's a stupid question. Who wouldn't? The, su the original <laughs> right? Superman. The original Superman, of course. The first. Bro. The Superman. The man of bronze. Somebody knows Very where quiet. Jay sleeps. What? Quiet down, M. <laughs> I think it's getting a little too personal. So, well, it's my mother, so she would know. <laughs> Calm down, Tripod Billy. She knows your family, too. She's a local. So, um... She doesn't know my family. She does. <laughs> Are you my son? One tenant claimed... You're not old enough. One tenant <laughs> claimed that his dog would go, his German Shepherd would go to the bedroom door and bark angrily, but not cross the threshold. Which makes sense for some harm. But what was there? The show? It, it, there was nothing there, though. I'm in the show. I'm listening. When the, dog, when the dog would bark, though, there was nothing there for the dog to bark. Not at, yeah. Yeah, yeah it there was tagged, absolutely. But it wouldn't but you cross know what, the But you know what? That's the thing, though. It's like with dogs, like they have like, I, I really think that the, that animals and that they things. have, they, they have like, the, they have that sixth sense. They're in tune. They, they really do. Up. Absolutely. Well, absolutely. Like, like, even with my dog, like I... I'll be laying in bed and there'd be nothing going on, and all of a sudden my dog would just be barking like crazy. And as soon as you, you know, put on the knee high boots and the velcro gloves, the dog takes off. You know, it's um, <laughs> that I, the, the thing is, is, is the dog barking at nothing might actually leave credence to the uh, don't leave you there. What is it, the term, the ley lines or whatever for, for yeah. ghosts? Because if you think about it, they Love can see Eric, different things. That, like, I believe they have better sight than us, and they have, they have like 10 times better smell than us. Of course. So what if they're capable of sensing, maybe they're not seeing it, but they're smelling it in a direction. I think they have a sixth sense. And maybe they're, they're, they're capable of smelling on different, like, different planes. Or maybe there's a smell that goes... You know what? That we Richie does have a good point, though. The dog just hates doorways. I mean, maybe, maybe, I mean, the, maybe, 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 I mean, maybe something tragic happened to the dog, <laughs> you know, in, with a doorway. And I totally believe that because my childhood dog... Right, she she ended up. Her name was Dolly. She was, a, my she, was, she was a beautiful <laughs> dog. I, I absolutely love this dog. And uh, uh, but no, seriously, like her tail ended up getting smashed into a door. Like somebody wasn't paying attention, and her tail yeah. got smashed. No, We're no, not this, paying was, attention. this was before. No, tail. no, this was before we even. This is before we even actually had ownership of the dog, and uh, her tail was completely. Her tail was broken and crooked. And it grew that way. It, it kept on growing that way because it was so smashed into the door. You know, so maybe maybe <laughs> this dog really had, you know, something out for doorways. You know, I mean, it's totally possible. That's a thought. Maybe he was just afraid of them. He didn't want to pass through them. It, it could be. Chris, you can have all the cookies. Uh, no, I want the cookies. Give me cookies. You guys, this is a chat talk. We're not really sure what they're going on about. I don't know either. I can't pay that much attention. Bridget, why would you let a dog what else we get have? to your stash? Oh, well, there's other places in Hollywood that are haunted, too. I I didn't dig that deep. <laughs> I just looked up Little Bastard. <laughs> Knickerbocker Hotel, uh, the Grumman's Chinese Theater. There's a place called Knickerbocker? That was... Yeah. You're pretty close. Yeah. Knickerbocker Hotel. <laughs> Thank you. Make sure you pronounce that. We want to make sure that we're uh, PC. <laughs> I have a speech impediment, and I've been drinking all day, so shut up. <laughs> How much water have you really drank? Not very much. I think that's the end of your notes. Never. It's her stash. It's, it's the end of your notes. Also, hey, what was that hotel we talked about before? To California? The Cecil Hotel. Bridget, I understand uh, what you're Cecil, saying. Cecil Hotel. Guys, we want to reapproach something, because it came up on Facebook. It's her stash. <laughs> I love you, Bridget. You are an amazing woman. So, Bridget, I, I suppose you have your own sash. Who doesn't? Or at least borrow. Tripod Billy off camera says all those things. So, Tripod Billy's views <laughs> are not reflected on Vanishing Gates. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, yes and no. <laughs> Mostly no. <laughs> so, the Cecil Hotel. I want to bring this up again because it came up on a... Uh, a feed I found on Facebook. People are bitching about the Elise Lamb thing. We did a whole episode. We did a whole episode on it. Oh, we did. No, we I was yet. there. Were you? I was there. 
Was she? I don't remember. I thought that, that was I'm one of our... Pretty sure, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure I was there. If I wasn't, then I totally watched it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Sometimes, there, sometimes, there are, sometimes there are paranormal things that happen when you're not here. <laughs> But I'm pretty so, sure I was actually there for the Lisa the Cecil, the Cecil Hotel. The Lisa Lamb thing. We I solved the case, right, guys. Come we on. did. Super we simple. No, I was you know who solved the so case? There. I was rigid. I was. Plead the I was. fifth. I appreciate it. it. That, was that was before there. we did any video. I was video. so there. That was before your video. I was so there. I was so there. All audio. I was, yeah. I was here for like, yeah. No, I was here. I was here in audio. Don't argue, just. You know, I'm gonna look it up. Talk. You should look, look it up right now. Google that. We'll get another view out of it. Google it. So the point Google is, Google it. There's an app for that. Came into a big argument about the Elise Lamb thing. Came we out again. We should make a Vanishing Gates app. We should make a Vanishing Gates app. Dude, that'd no be amazing. Would, Nick, no Nick, Nick, you're our tech guy. Vanishing Gates app. We need it. Please, you got this. Get I love to you. your story. Anyhow, what are you? So, <laughs> thank you, Tripod Billy. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> The least lamb thing, we solved the case pretty quick. Yeah, and I feel like that was did too. In the end, like I was skeptical about it, and I kept arguing with you, but then you kind of showed everything to me, and I was like, mm, okay, that kind of makes sense. The argument was, so we're on a Facebook chat thing, and people are crabbing their pants about the least lamb thing. I said, look, guys, she was off her meds, she wasn't doing well, and she committed suicide on accident, accidental suicide. It's a horrible thing to have happen. It's terrible. But you know what? You guys do an injustice to the paranormal and explain. When you try to feed in all the bull crap and the BuzzFeed crap to what happened, you're making it worse. You're making people not believe you. It's like a lot of the fake sightings and stuff. Yeah, it's my beer. Yeah, it's, probably no, it's your water. My water, I mean. Fact is, Eliza <laughs> Lamb was off her meds. She climbed out of a fire escape and into a water tower I and like drown. It's heartbreaking. <laughs> it's very sad. Your, your new nickname is TB. Oh, God. Bridget, <laughs> please call me TB. Tripod Billy now wants to be known as TB. That's the, the shots for that. So, anyway, so the laser lamp. I don't need one of those. Look, guys. Damn it! I was not here for the Lisa Lamb episode! I told you that. Damn. Look, but I totally got, watched it, though. I was here in spirit. She was evicted from her previous room because the Cecil Hotel, at that point, was like a brothel. Or not a brothel. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Well, sort of a hostel. It was awesome. Like a hostel. And they moved her to a different room because she was acting weird and freaking people out. Yeah, that's actually the story behind it. was essentially what people neglected to watch or read was, was the, the fact facts. that a bunch of people were like, she was acting erratic. Yeah, she, the people were like, but she was acting normal downstairs because the, the owner said she was fine. But then later on, she was upstairs. They had to move her because she was freaking people out. Well, it's how schizophrenia works. She's a schizophrenic. You can find that. The police report's there. The toxicology reports are there. Elisa Lamb climbed into a water tower and drowned on her own volition. Now, that said, there's a good chance the custodian of the building shut the lid of the, the water tower. And the water tower wasn't super heavy like people want to say it was. Super heavy is what, 25 pounds? Can you lift 25 pounds? It's heavy for most people now. No, I can lift five. Oh, it's on the hinge. Shut it. I see it opens. It's a water tower. They have to treat the water. It's open sometimes. They forget about it. The guy walked by, shut the damn lid. Or the wind She was in there. Or the, no, not with that. It's not like the, the janitor or whatever it was not pretty freaking negligent, to be honest. This isn't a murder case. It's not a paranormal case. As much as it would be cool to have this be a paranormal thing, and just be the elevator game we talked about on the show we talked about. Oh, yeah, about. That's, 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 that's actually an interesting but story, but... The, the fact is, like, she was already deranged and having problems. Deranged, I don't mean that in a, a mean way to her. She had mental health issues, and she wasn't letting herself be treated right, and she drowned herself in a water cooler. And was she on were... menopause? No. She wasn't old enough yet. Now, people Just drank... a question... People drank that. That's the freakiest part, is that people actually drank that water. And part of it... Okay, here's the problem. When I was in this comment section Round of this... <laughs> when I was in the comment of this thing, it was, it was an argument for no reason. I'm like, I presented facts. Someone said, check your facts. I'm like, well, thank you. I did check my facts. I spent two weeks studying this. 
just really, it's, it's, it's what happened. Like, you can get the police report. You can get all that stuff. Lisa Lamb got off her meds, and she drowned herself on accident. It sucks. It's heartbreaking. But making that a paranormal thing does a disservice to her and people that are suffering through other psychological problems. It also does a big disservice to the paranormal. Well, it's because it's, it's the thought of the unknown. People really enjoy the idea that something might have happened. It, what, but... what bothered me was people wanted her to be murdered, basically. People are like, oh, no, she was murdered. Well, what? Hold on. The, the thing about that is, is that could have happened. I mean, we don't actually know what physically ended, but we know the fact that we don't, I, I won't say we know, but we're positive that it wasn't paranormal. In the end, we're well, positive. First of all, we do know she, she probably killed herself, herself on herself. accident. It was an accidental death. It was written that way in the, the police report. She wasn't murdered. If anything, there was gross negligence on the hotel. Yeah, that's what I would say. It's gross but negligence. gross negligence meaning that they didn't. She wasn't like thriving for life in that water tower when she climbed into it. She was in there already, and the guy just shut the door. She was already dead. <laughs> if anything, it's bad engineering. <laughs> I bad believe I believe Bridget has a point. Yes. Yeah. No. She, yeah. She was that's having an episode in chat. Yes, Bridget. She was having an episode. It was a clear schizophrenic episode. There's no argument here. There was no... There, come on, there's no reason to believe at all some paranormal or murderous <laughs> happened. It's, it's heartbreaking that she, she's she gone. Because she needed help, and she didn't get it in the way she needed to. But at the same time, she was an adult, and she turned down her own help. She had the, the ability to take her meds and be fine. It just sucks. People, stop making it a paranormal thing. You're making it worse. If you're trying to make it a serial killer thing, you're making it worse. Like, I host a paranormal freaking podcast. Or pod show. Vod, vod vodcast. 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 Oh, wait. By the way, are we doing a After Hours I'm not show yet. tonight? Paco Probably. does have eyes, yes. That's the thing. I do have eyes. Yes. Yes. No. Oh, you just broke them! <laughs> you just broke them! They're not even my glasses! They're not even mine! They were so somebody else's! Son of a gun! Right, we'll yes, I do have eyes, yes, but oh, no, sunglasses <laughs> is part All of the right, show. Alright, that's fun. But the fact I is... I can't believe you just broke those. <laughs> I can't, I, I really can't believe that. You are a total douche. Solar City will give you something new. I mean, you can work like that forever. Guys, <laughs> so, Lisa Lamb. Not paranormal, not murder. It's for you. James Dean, though, little bastard. That's a cursed card. Are you stop looking at my balls? No, I'm not looking. Trust me, I'm not looking. I will concur. I want to know where the other earpiece of now, my the, the important is question here is: Did, did Alec right Guinness curse the car in the first place? That was the thing. The the the, the dark side. Did Alec? Did Obi Wan join the dark side? This car is sinister. If you drive this car, you'll be dead within a week. Now, did he wave his hand when he said Or if he didn't get rid of it. He just waved his hand. He's like, you're going to die. I would, I would think so, except Eartha Kit and his girlfriend and mechanics oh, and stuff. Yeah. Like, don't, don't drive this car. Oh. Yeah, I mean, too many people, people said don't drive this car. <laughs> Anybody that says they're scared about a four-cylinder engine should probably listen to. I, I have no idea now. He just wishes that they were out, Bridget. He yes. really, really wishes that they were out. Jay, right, guys, Jay's balls are usually in his stomach. What? They haven't dropped yet. What? Read. Not true. I can't read. Will you anymore. not pay attention to our vanishers? <laughs> guys. Our fellow vanishers. I would fellow just vanishers. I would just like you fellow to know that I will be here. Now. I am a From fan. here on I'm out, of course, I will read all comments. Are you a vanisher? I, 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 I like to think that we're all and vanishers here. Because I, like, I like I like the show. I, I follow the show. Take care of it. You know, I, even though I participate in the show, I still follow the show. You know, so therefore, I myself am a vanisher. Don't you dare put that. <laughs> you know what? I, I actually threw something on the actual discussion page. Discussion page. All right, everybody, go check out. Vanishing Gates discussion page. All right. <laughs> TV is having a really good time today. All right. Go check out our discussion page, okay? Because uh, um, I actually posted a new post today and uh, while the show was going on. And um, 
you know, I have the bag over the head. Jack, Jack has the, <laughs> Jack has the shoe on the head. Jack has the shoe on the head. Jay, he needs something to be able to go over his head. All right. Jack, so, his last right. name is Meehoff. So, so we. I don't want you guys to hold back. I, I want, I want whatever, what anything that you guys can come up with. Don't hold back. Let's see what you got. Let us, let us review what you guys can come up with, and we're gonna come up with a photo to go over Jay's head. Let us cabbage, or on top of his head. Right. I mean, it could be a penis for all we care. Like, I mean, I mean, Whoa. We'll have, just have like just straight up on the forehead. I mean, you know, I mean, it, it's just I'm just drawing lines here. Like, you know, I mean, don't <laughs> do not hold back. Do not hold back. <laughs> Alien head, Bridget. Bridget, that is awesome. Predator, no, because the predator, predator is amazing. Like we can't, we can't have something so amazing over Jay's head. Yeah, like, we that, cannot, we cannot build not be, him up. That would we not have to be... bring him down. Bring him down, Bridget. Bring him down. Run away. Run away. Run away. All right, guys. <laughs> As always, thank you so much for watching Vanishing Gates. I watching, totally ruined the show. Watching Vanishing Gates. As always, I'm your host, Jay, and with me is, uh, Jack, and, wait, Taco, he's upset, yeah. he's very displeased, Dad. why are you displeased? he's very upset, yeah, very sad puppy face, yeah. yeah, Bridget even sees it, you're, you're upset, frustration, I didn't hurt you, I will walk the fuck off, I didn't hurt you, and, uh, 35 billion is over there, guys, I guess we're, uh, gonna end this show, not really sure, What's up? But we heart you in the face. Love you, Vanishers. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, tell your friends about us. Hey, do your thing, Jack. Bye, everybody. You alright, dude? What's mm -hmm. wrong? Are you yeah, why are you so angry? Yeah, I think we are something. Oh, no, we're still screaming. Computer. Method.